everyone, it's Blakely with Cooking for Bimbos and I'm here today to show you a really great kind of festive appetizer. It sounds very difficult, but it's really not. Right now I'm gonna be making some pear chutney then I have some Gruyere cheese, some toasted walnuts, and we're gonna put it all in a puff pastry and bake it. And it's so good, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I have my pan heating up on medium high. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of olive oil in there. And then, back here I also have my walnuts. I'm toasting them over just medium heat. You wanna make sure you watch them. All right, so now I'm going to dice up one shallot. So what I did is I just cut off the ends, and I cut it in half, remove this outer layer of the skin here, if I can. And I'm just gonna dice it up pretty fine. We don't want thick chunks of it. All right, perfect. So now that we have all of that off, I'm gonna show you what I do. What I like to do is just cut nice little thin slices, just like that. Watching your fingers, of course. And then you're gonna go in, cut it in half, watching your fingers, and then just give it a quick dice, and it makes perfect little squares. All right, perfect, so let's put our shallot in our pan here. Do our other one. And then I also have two Bosque pears that I, I'll show you how I like to dice those up. So we're gonna just do our other shallot right like that. And a quick chop. All right, perfect. So into here. So as soon as they smell nice and fragrant, when it's time to add in all of our pears. So we have two pears, so I want to slice this one up. What I like to do is I take the pear and I'll just slice it in thin slices, just like this. Perfect. So then once I do that, just cut it long ways. And then, oops, and then, I'll just go like that, and you have perfect dice every time. Perfect, so we're gonna add these to our pan. And this is great, because you can really make this pear chutney ahead of time if you want. Get a nice mix right in here, just like that. I'm gonna add the rest of our pears. Oh, want to make sure you don't get the core. Cut out the core with the seeds. Just discard that. All right, perfect. So now that these are starting to saute down, I have two tablespoons of brown sugar, as well as three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna add those right in here. And this is what's gonna make it into like that chutney. You want the, the vinegar, you want a little bit of the kick of the sweetness. So give it a good mix. Ooh, those look perfect. Turn those off. So we're going to mix this up. And I also have some fresh thyme, which I love pear and thyme together. It's one of my favorite flavor combinations. All right, so now we're just going to let this cook uh, just a few minutes, like 10 minutes. Or it's time to assemble everything. So our pear chutney is done. I'm just letting it slightly cool over here. You don't need to let it cool all the way. And if you want to make this the day ahead or hours ahead, you could totally do that. It smells delicious. Mm, I can't wait to do this. So I have a sheet of puff pastry right here that I just like to put on parchment just because it's easier to, to roll out and not stick to my counter like it always does. I'm gonna just roll it out here. Not crazy thin, but definitely wanna make it thinner. I love puff pastry because you can buy it. It's easy, you don't have to make it, and it always turns out great. Remember when I was in culinary school, we had to make our own puff pastry, and let me tell you, buying it is way easier. Two pounds 
of butter later. It was delicious, but it took forever. All right, there we go. Perfect. So now I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to make little squares here. Just like this. I'm going to make these kind of small so they're little hors d'oeuvre bites. Just like that. And then I'm going to go through. Oops, get out of the way. Perfect. Oops. Cut a piece of this off. All right, so now we have our little individual pieces here. So now it's going to be like a little assembly. So what I'm going to do is I am using Gruyere cheese. Now Gruyere is like a semi-hard cow's milk cheese and it's kind of creamy and nutty and it's going to go great with all of the pears and everything. So I'm going to do a little piece of Gruyere just like that. So it's going to make them nice and cheesy when they come out. It's going to be melted and delicious. All right, so we're going to do that right in here. Let's kind of put them more towards the corner here. Perfect. And then I'm going to do a little topper of our pear chutney. Now try not, I know it's going to be hard, but try not to overfill them because you want to make sure you have a seal in there. So we're just going to keep topping all of these just like this. Right. A bit in there, just like that. Oh yeah, get a nice little crunch in there. Do a little sprinkle on all of them. Perfect. Oop, making a mess. That's all right. Okay. So then, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Kind of stretch out the dough a little bit, just, just like that. I'm gonna fold them over. Make them look like a little turnover almost. Just gonna make them into a little triangle here. It's all right, they don't have to be perfect looking. Just like that. See all the edges? Yay. And then, I'm gonna just do a nice little egg wash. I just did one egg, just gave it a quick beat. Make sure it goes all the way on because this is what gives it the really nice golden brown flavor, or color on the top. Do that, and then I have to sprinkle with a little bit of sea salt right on there, a little bit of cracked pepper right on the top, and then I like to add just a little bit of some fresh thyme, just so you have an idea of what's in there. Perfect, I'm gonna keep doing that with all of them, and then it's time to bake. So look at how good these look. I have my oven preheated at 425 and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 to 17 minutes. We're gonna watch it until they're nice and golden brown and, ooh, I can't wait, 425. Uh, look at how unbelievable these look. They all are just a beautiful golden brown. You have the thyme on the top. They just look so festive. A little, I might've put a little tiny bit too much cheese in them, but I like a lot of cheese. So it all came out, I have to use. A bite. I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. You're gonna freak out. You have to try this. It's so good. And there you have my Gruyere and pear. Huh, I'm gonna call it. I hope you like it. Now.